Last week, we got Driftlimped. You'd think that after spending an entire season figuring out how to take one down, I'd learned my lesson by now. Unfortunately, I got careless. And for the third season in a row, we started with another loss. But there's no time to grieve, so we set our sights on our next opponent and the creator of the P4G, Kyle A, a man who is out for redemption. Never lost. A term that would confuse even the brightest of intellectuals especially in a game that is as fickle as Pokemon. And so has been the case for Mr. Kyle before. So why is it that he proclaims himself as someone who never lost? It's because these words go far beyond winning a single battle. Since the very beginning, Kyle's journey was an uphill battle, doing whatever he could to prove himself as he stood across the very best. His methods are what you'd call unconventional, sometimes making the pad that he'd walk on a hard one. Despite it all, he still found a way. It was his conviction that took him to places that others couldn't reach. It was his conviction that led to him ending Wolfie Glick's three season long title reign in the WBE. It was his conviction that led to him going on an entire undefeated season in the BBR. Because the fact of the matter is, no matter how many times people may have tried to count him out, he would show the world that his never lost is the fact that he never gave up. So Kyle, I hope you know that I got nothing but love for you. But despite whatever crazy sets you may come up with, I know I can beat you. No you can't. Who said that? Um, actually, I think you're just a one-hit wonder. I bet just because you won a championship, you're not gonna try anymore for future leagues. You're gonna crash in- You need get him. You need the Wait, what? <laughs> Starting off, we got Itemless Slowking with Surf, Psyshock, Ice Beam, and Nasty Plot. You may be wondering what this is all about, but let me cook. Stair Ledge is a big problem. I literally have zero switch ins to this monster. Poltergeist messes me up. But what happens if it fails? It's going to straight up drop, courtesy of a modest Surf. That is the method behind this madness. This Pokemon exists to inflict a lot of immediate pressure against him because Kyle does not have the needed defensive backbone to take it on. And with this speed, I will creep Pokemon like his Hydrapo, non-speedy Araquanid, and even Garganachi. Last week was a bust, but this time around, it's gonna be a serious episode for the White Knight. Following this, we got Payapa Berry Okidogi with Drain Punch, Dunk Shot, Knock Off, and Bulk Up. This Pokemon is genuinely insane against Kyle's squad. Should I be able to get a bulk up off? There's very few defensive counterplay for him to take it down. I'm Payapa Berry this week because Psycho Cut Serilage is a problem and I'd rather not be fully punished if I'm forced in a position where I have to set up one bulk up against a psychic type of his. The offense does not stop here as we got Covert Cloak Decidueye with Leaf Blade, Poltergeist, Shadow Sneak, and Sword Stance. Another Pokemon where Kyle does not have the best defensive countermeasures against it. Whilst he may have a Galarian Weezing to take a Poltergeist or two, just chipping it down will do wonders for putting it in range of Okidogi after one bulk up. I'm running Covert Cloak because it does a great job at putting a hard stop to Saltier Garganachi. Halfway through, and it's time for some defensive backbone. Enter physically defensive Sandaconda with Earthquake, Stone Edge, Stealth Rock, and Rest. I absolutely need this Pokemon because other than him having a Serulege breathing down my neck, he also has an Ambipom which offensively has a great matchup against me. That's why I'm running Rocky Helmet this week. Hazards does a lot in helping my offense and Glare is literally free against his entire squad, save for his Garganachi, which will not appreciate an Earthquake. Making this all the more a valuable bring for this fight. As we reach the end, I realize that I need some good speed to pressure him. Well, these last two Pokemon fit the bill as we got Heavy Duty Boots Delphox with Psyshock, Nasty Plot, Flamethrower, and Grass Knot. Offensively, this thing is a straight up menace against Kyle and can set up on a lot of his Pokemon, including Bronzong and Galarian Weezing. It's a type of mod that forces sequence where I'm guaranteed a piece, making this a very valuable tool for this matchup. Last but not least, we got the returning Heavy Duty Boots Uni with Thunderbolt, Air Slash, Bolt Switch, and U-Turn. There's not much to say about this Pokemon other than the fact that it literally outpaces Kyle's entire squad and enables me to dictate the pace of the matchup to my liking. And you know, after all this talk about wanting Uni back, now is finally time for exactly just that. So yeah, that's the team. 
If you're enjoying this video, please do drop a like and subscribe as I'm on my way to 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year, and I can only do that with all of your support. A huge shout out and thanks go to my friends Addison, Pie Man, Amo, and the loyal Bandito for all the help this week. As well as, of course, Brett Pudding for the help with the thumbnail, and my guy Ricardo Buzzwell for the team. Enough of me rambling on, let us move on to the game. Alright okay, guys, we are back right now, ready to go against our guy Kyle A in hopefully what shall most certainly be a good match. Now, this is the man who in every single week 2 of a draft league that he has competed in would 5-0 his opponent. So I'ma be honest, I'm a bit scared. But you know what? I'ma still try to keep it a buck and hopefully put in the work to hopefully take this all home. That's a lot of hopefullys. Anyways, enough of me rambling on. Let's see exactly what he brought. Right, so by the looks of his team, he did not bring any Araquanid, which honestly is something I'm really relieved about because it does make things far more convenient as far as uh, as far as this matchup goes. Now, lead-wise, I was told that if I do not see, uh, like, you know, if I see any of his Terras, I should lead off with my Steiner. And honestly, it just has a, such a good matchup against him, it's not even funny. So I think I might just opt to do up to do that alternatively i could have just let off with my uni but unfortunately i think it's a bit too late to get back on it so with that being said enough of me rambling on hopefully let's make this a good match <laughs> right so he's gonna lead off with his glizong the bronzong as i'm gonna lead off with my steiner and turn one that isn't exactly the worst possible thing if i'm gonna be completely honest to turn one i think i don't see any reason to not go for my rocks so i'm actually just gonna opt to do that here now does give me some early pressure too so that's something i suppose as he oh no going to start off with a trick oh my gosh really good play on his bf really good play on his bf as oh no he is going to give me a toxic orb as he is going to take my rocky helmet oh brother okay so that's so that's how this match is gonna be but you know what he does not have any hazard removal whatsoever so it isn't exactly the worst possible thing you know i think aj styled is a good pokemon to go out into yeah, regardless, because this does, this does confirm that you have an item that you're holding right now. So, there is that. And let's see what you want to go for. Yeah. Yep, he's going to have to set up stealth rocks. That's completely fine. And this is where the heavy-duty boots on my, uh, like, Addison is going to help because I'm not going to take any damage whatsoever. So, I'm just going to actually opt to go for a Poltergeist here because the, my thought process behind that this play is that if he goes out and his Galarian Weezing... First of all, he's going to take a decent chunk of damage, and second of all, it is going to basically ensure that, uh, like, the next time I'm, I go to plus two, I'm going to be able to knock him out. Although, the unfortunate thing is here is that he could actually go out and use Bombardier if, she, if he wants to. So that's another thing to be wary of. However, at the same time, I can actually opt to just, you know, uh, paralyze, uh, paralyze whatever he opts to bring in, courtesy of a glare. So there's that. This does definitely make me wish I, I just let up with my AJ, because actually, yeah, in hindsight, why didn't I, right? Because even if he let off with this Bombardier, like, I could have just gone out into my Steiner, but it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it now. He has rocks, so do I, but I should be fine, I think. Don't go out in your fucking Ambipon, bro. Fezzendivity. Huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is what he actually wanted his Fezzendivity to initially be. As he is... There we go. He does actually hold an item, which would have to be his Black Sludge. And this is pretty sick. Holy shit, what the fuck? I don't understand the damage output. And why that did the... Um, why that why that did the damage it did. Huh? Hello? Okay. I think I'm just gonna go for a Poltergeist again, regardless. He's gonna swap out into who, though, is the question. I'm assuming he wants to go out into Zambipom. Yep, he's gonna go out into Zambipom. He's gonna make that play. Okay. I mean, fair enough, I suppose. But... I think this is still not the worst possible play, like for worst possible sequence for me by any means, because what's gonna happen is essentially me going out in my Steiner, which while it will suck that he is going to have to take the blunt force of a move, I can basically follow that up with a glare and see exactly what we do from there. Yes. That's basically the idea behind it all. But not very good play on that to fucking toxic art. Bro got me, like, bro got me slacking, that's for sure. He's gonna go straight for a triple axel. Yeah, my man's a demon. Actually, no, that makes sense. Oh, gosh, yeah. Fucking hell, that that did so much. Is this thing choice bandit or something? Wait. Oh, okay, wow. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Okay, so 
this is actually not the best situation for me. Unless, of course, okay, never mind. 58.6 to 70.6. That's not good, actually. What the hell? I thought it would take it better. That is very surprising. And also on me for, you know, not necessarily scouting scouting it in the in the most ideal way, I guess. I think if that's how it is, then that's how it is. See what he like, I don't think he has any reason to not go for triple axel again, regardless. So, go for Fury Swipes. My man's a demon. I love it though. I'm like, I'm assuming you are okay. The fact that it went for four times gives me the impression that this happens to be loaded dice. Which makes sense. Fury Swipes, uh, like, definitely makes a lot of sense in this matchup. I wish I had the Rocky Helmet, but that unfortunately is a luxury I cannot enjoy here and now. But yeah, Ambipom is a fucking problem, bro. The hell? <laughs> I think my play right now in either case is going on in Rhine, to be honest. Because I feel like offensively, this is the only thing that can just come in and just pretty much, you know, put in a lot of offensive pressure against him. Because otherwise, yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit lost, to be honest. I'm a bit lost right now. <laughs> okay, no, like, uh, I, I, I'm really liking Kyle's prep so far. He's been he's been bringing, it, bringing the pain to me so far, that's for sure. But yeah, I'm gonna go for a bulk up here. I don't... If this thing had a psych... If the, nah, nah, nah I, I don't think you stay in. There's no fucking... There's no possible timeline in which you stay in, I would, I would imagine. But I think with how his team is uh, structured, I should certainly be getting a kill right now. He's not over Fury Swipes, makes sense. Okay, that, that's not doing, you know... Okay, no, please don't fucking crit me, sir. Please, please do not crit me. Do not crit me. All right, cool. He, he hits four times instead of five. So that's something. As right now, with this bulk up, I should be able to get a lot of back courtesy of a drain punch. Maybe I should have attacked him then and there. Because I feel like he has the right idea behind the plays in, ter in terms of, you know, tipping me down. But I am near max attack. So I should be able to take a lot back, I think. Oh boy. Okay, he's gonna sw switch out. But who is he gonna go out into though, is the question. He's gonna go out into Zonger. Makes sense, makes sense. He is going to take a lot of damage though, I think. Come on. All right, a uh, pretty, uh, pretty decent ch ch chunk, I think. Yeah. Okay. I think, yeah, knock off 100% kills from here, so I'm just gonna actually go for that. Yeah, man, like, so of all Pokemon, it's Ambipom that's, like, you know, messing me up right now. But you gotta respect that Pokemon, bruv. That thing's, uh, that thing's a menace. That thing's a straight-up fucking menace. Kyle certainly has the right place with the, you know, right idea with the place that he's engaging in right now. Um, I do think that maybe there was a conversation by, or just attacking it and taking, uh, attacking that Ambipom and taking it out. If that, you know, like, but, like, nine times out of ten, uh, most people would end up switching out. So I think Kyle has the right idea with the, with the place that he's engaging in right now. Especially since he's taking my, like, using my Rocky Helmet against me. So yes, this is that. This is definitely being a tough match, man. If I just let off with my Slow King, so much of these issues would not be as present right now. So I think I got the I got the lead sequence wrong there, but that's also on me, right, for not sticking to the initial plan that I had here. Okay, so Ambipom is going to come out again, so it doesn't actually kill me from here. But if he has fake out, then I don't think there's anything I can do about that, truthfully. He has fake out. Oh man. Oh brother, no! Oh gosh. Yeah, that's just honestly good a good prep on his behalf. So he's fake out. I'm assuming he's knockoff. And uh like he's fake out, he's knockoff, and he's something else that I'm I'm not too sure of. Fucking Ambipom, bruv. Of all fucking Pokemon, it's Ambipom. How much accuracy is Fury Swipes though? I mean, I'm sure he's gonna get it regardless, because uh, I don't, I don't think that I'm that lucky in that sense. It has 80% accuracy, so you never know, guys. You never fucking know. But you know what? Let's see it. Am I gonna get lucky? Am I not? I don't know. But all I can say is Bismillahirrahmanirrahim.
I am so sorry, Kyle. I am so fucking sorry. I am so sorry. <laughs> but I will take it. I need to take this. I'm so sorry, Kyle. Fucking hell, I don't- I- I got- I got mad lucky there. Ridiculously lucky, holy shit. Alright, I mean, after what happened in week one, I'm glad that there's some reverse karma going on, but I don't want this- like, it's- it's unfortunate that it is against Kyle, but we're in this game. We're definitely in this game right now. I guess I'm- uh, I guess the only thing I'm- I'm regretful over is the fact that I didn't kill the Ambipom when I had the chance to, you know, like, to make it make it so to the point where I'd have to rely on this luck in the first place, but hey, Kyle just outplayed me then and there, and I got you know saved by hacks, plain and simple. So yeah, he's gonna take Stealth Rock's damage, which is good. I'm going for Gunk. Never mind, he goes for Brave Bird. Whoops! Oh, that actually straight up kills me. Holy shit! Okay, so I was at 196 there, right? So I was evidently at 196 there, so let me see exactly, like, how offensive this thing is. So, actually, yeah, Brave Bird just straight up fucking one-shot me regardless, so... It, it, it definitely didn't matter in the grand scheme of things, for sure. His final set of Pokémon is his Bombardier, his, uh, like... His Minecraft Pokémon, and his Serulich. In which case, I think I can get away by going out in my Kilowatt Roll and just clicking Thunderbolt, to be honest. I mean, Kilowattro is definitely my play, I think. The bus is finally about to make her debut in the P4G, as right now, what I'm gonna do is just pretty much smack this thing in the uh, smack this thing in the face with a Thunderbolt. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, I'm gonna just go for a Thunderbolt right now, because I don't think you have the best possible switch-ins remaining against this thing. Other than, you know, your uh, Minecraft Pokemon. Yep, he's gonna go out in his bricked up. You certainly got me bricked up with this, bruv. <laughs> I love his nicknames. It's in, like, they're just so unhinged, you know? Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to do mats when, like, fucking... The whole thing you have is a fucking scale. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna go for a bolt switch here and now. And get some really good chip damage. Mm-hmm. Nice chip, nice chip. As what I'm, a, what I'm going to do here is... Go out into my Decidueye, I think? This does is still end up inviting in the Sterile Edge regardless. And I don't think I like that. I think I have to go out into my AJ Styles here regardless, regrettably. Oh, man. Oh, look, I'm floating now. I'm flying. Look at me flying, sir. I'm gonna go for Stone Edge. Okay. That does a pretty de respectable chunk of damage, for sure. But I am just gonna go for Leap Blade here. I'm gonna go for a Leaf Blade here. I'm gonna try to take your ass out right now. And if you wanna go out into your Galarian Weezing, that's fine by me as well. But with the amount of chip damage you took, I don't think you're gonna survive the next Thunderbolt from my Kilowatt Troll. But yeah, um, we're not, like, we're definitely not out of the woods yet. But okay, so I mean, I, okay, he's gonna switch, switch out. But like, your, your Garganachi is not gonna survive anymore. Okay, he's gonna go out in his pheasant. I keep for keep wondering if it's the fucking Stork Pokemon or the, like, you know, if it's, like, the Stork Pokemon or the, uh, the or the, like, fucking Galarian Weezing. But, like, I get the idea behind it, you know? I don't know what this, like, I really don't know what the hell is up with this Pokemon, but I'm just gonna pick you off with the Shadow Sneak, because it is priority. If you end up being Custat Berry or whatever, it is going to fail because I outspeed you nine times out of ten. So, there is that. Unless, of course, you are a very speedy variant, sir. It's hard to say, truthfully. It just depends on, you know, what he wants to go for with his Serral Ledge. Bro, if he's Shadow Claw, then you know what? Mad respect to you, my guy. Mad respect to you. But, amazing, uh, def once again, amazing prep on Kyle with the, uh, you know, Frick Bronzong. Especially with the Toxic Over and taking away my Rocky Helmet. Because I feel like that is something that, you know, very much enabled his Amber Pump in going insane. And I think if I had stuck with my initial plan of leading off with my Slow King, then obviously that wouldn't have happened. But at the end of the day, like, there's only so much you can do in terms of pre preparation, but other than, you know, learning from this. And that's what I definitely will. But yeah, down goes uh, Galarian Weezing. His last Pokemon is a chip down Garganachi, which, is, which will die to a Thunderbolt. 
just depends on it just depends on like what move he has on that thing okay he's got to go out into his bomb store makes sense as i think right now i'm pretty much forced to sack off a pokemon yeah i don't have any other play i have to i have to sneak here i'm gonna sneak here i'm gonna vote go for a volt switch let's see how much it does though it doesn't pick this thing off oh he has rules too okay buddy this does complicate things I'm gonna have to click, click Shadow Sync again. He is gonna Terrasilize, but into what though is the question. I see pink, so I'm assuming it's fairy. But no, it is actually dark, because it's hard to make out with these, you know, like, uh, weird hues. But, yeah, I'm just gonna go for a sneak again. See how much it does to, it, it does to this thing, which is absolutely fucking nothing. He is gonna go for a knockoff, and he's gonna pick me off, which makes sense, makes sense. As right now, the question is, will I be allowed to see how much HP this Stork Pokemon is? I don't think I will. Because Game Freak does not think too far ahead with their game design. <sighs> yeah, I think I do not have... I don't exactly have a play other than going out in my uni. And just hoping Thunderbolt kills. Like straight up. It does look to be in that range though. So, that's something. That's definitely something. Did this Stork get Sucker Punch or something? Yeah, like there's so much there's so much I should have checked further when preparing for this game. But evidently the fact that I'm not, I didn't, is putting me in this in, in these forms of precarious positions. So yeah, that's uh, it's just a bit unfortunate, so I'll see how the rest of this match goes. I do think that Uni should pick her off with the Thunderbolt though. Because Bombardier may be a very terrifying Pokemon, but Bombardier is not a Pokemon that should survive the bus. He has Sucker Punch, so he did has, have Sucker Punch the entire time. I think I survived this though. Yeah, okay, cool. Yuni is still gonna be able to survive this thing very conveniently because she is the ba. Ah! And I get a para. I lose. Hey, yo, I lose, what the fuck? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I should have had Roost. Why didn't I have Roost? <laughs> Oh, buddy. I think this bomb can actually fucking sweep me now. <laughs> of all the things. Wait, don't don't cheat, bruv. But bloody hell. He, why, wait, why didn't you go for Sucker Punch? Hello? It's very confusing. Like, I'm genuinely confused by that. But... Uh, the Pokemon that could have swept me is not gonna be able to sweep me anymore. So, that's something. Uh, I'm gonna go out in my- go out into my Sloking now, though. Because what this is- what is gonna happen is that I want to bait him into clicking Poltergeist with his, uh, like... With his Serilich. And I think if I do that, this game should theoretically be mine. I think he predicted me to go for Roost, though, which is why he actually opted to stay in. Which makes sense, actually, because, you know, when you have heavy-duty boots, a Kilowattrel runs Roost 9 times out of 10. But I'm not running it because I'm, st I'm stupid and I'm bad. So, yeah. Uh, let's see exactly who he wants to go out into. I know Gargana Garganachi is a... I don't know. I mean, I'm a pretty fast slow king, so I'm not sure. He goes out in his 4 drive. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're cooking, guys. I think we're cooking. Okay. He does take Stealth Rock's damage. And right now, I'm just going to go for a Surf. Please have Polter, guys. Do not have Shadow Claw, bro. Do not have Shadow Claw. If you have Shadow Claw, then you know what? I've, I've been thoroughly bested, and there's absolutely nothing I can do other than, you know, offering my sincerest, uh, uh, my sincerest congratulations. But Surf is, I think, absolutely my play here. What an intense game, though. He's gonna go for a bulk up. Okay. So he is the bulk up set. Okay, buddy. I'm, I'm modest max special attack though. There we go. Oh my god. Gintoki the White Knight is going to be able to knock that Serral Edge down straight into next week. And just like that, I think the game is ours, guys. Let's freaking go. Okay. Yeah, like, uh, I honestly don't know what to, oh, how to, how to, what to make of how this game went, to be honest. I feel very, very bad, but with this, in what was absolutely a match of all time, 
that Thunderclap Titans are gonna be able to outspeed this Garganachi and take home a uh, Learn Trio W. Okay. Uh, GG, GG to my guy, like Kyle. I'm so sorry for the horrible luck, that, uh, horrible luck that you were blessed that you know you had to go through. Um, obviously, you know that the main con of Fury swipes in the first place is that it, it has 80% accuracy. I'm definitely gonna remember this. I'm gonna get better, and hopefully, I'll be able to give you guys far better games. GG to, GG to Kyle. Like absolutely, guys. Like you saw the amazing prep that he brought. He deserves all the love and support. So please, 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 I beg of you. Please check out his channel because he's generally one hell of a guy, uh, like one hell of a battler and an even better human being. But yeah, with that said, the Thunderclap Titans are, have now broken even with a one and one record. So we have now essentially hit a clean slate. And hopefully from here, we will perform better. We'll use the team better and we're going to win our games better. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this in any way, feel free to drop a like. My name is Yuzi Gunner. Have yourselves a glorious day and I shall most certainly see you all on the flip side. Push!